Welcome to Sleepy Eyes. I am your host, Varga. I take you on a journey in the dark of the night with warm tales. Take a moment to relax your body and mind with the current calmness. Breathe deeply, feel the energy inside, and let go of any tiredness. Put aside the past and focus on the peacefulness of the present moment. Recognize any tension in your body. Allow it to fade away and unwind. Discover your inner peace and simply unwind in the tranquility of now. Before going to sleep, prepare to read a story comfortably in this peaceful setting. Let the magic of words captivate you as you get lost in a tale or story. With the warmth from this peace and relaxation, your sleep will become even more serene. Close your eyes, embark on a journey with a touch of words. Let each word guide you a bit deeper toward the essence of your inner peace. Now, relax and enjoy the pleasure of getting lost in the enchanting world of the story before drifting into sleep. Of Dust and Domes, Chapter 4 Perils of the Planetary Plains Jake watched the sun sink below the rust-colored cliffs, bathing the Martian landscape in an orange glow. As darkness descended, he stoked the small interior heater and wrapped himself in an insulated blanket for warmth. Now alone with his thoughts, memories of past rover missions with his father came flooding back. He remembered long nights spent together poring over navigation charts under the glow of lanterns, his father patiently teaching him the patterns of the stars. You'll never get lost if you know the sky, his father had said. Jake traced the familiar constellations emerging in the inky blackness above, the same stars his family had gazed at for generations, steady anchors in the ever-changing terrain below. His father had passed four years ago, but out here under the celestial map he left behind, Jake still felt his guidance and companionship. He took comfort in knowing these stars had lit his father's own journeys across the Martian wilderness and now shed their soft light to help guide his own path. As sleep began to overtake him, Jake wondered if tonight those stars might also reveal what further trials awaited him on the morrow. Jake's thoughts drifted to his pioneering ancestors who had first settled this rugged terrain decades ago. His great-grandparents had been among the hardiest of pioneers, braving the unforgiving environment to establish the foundations of their fledgling colony. Through their sacrifice and perseverance, future generations like his own had been given the gift of calling this world home, though Mars remained a harsh stepmother, gradually yielding her secrets to those stubborn enough to endure her wrath. Jake's family had persisted in carving out an existence from this barren soil. Now it fell to him to continue their legacy, battling not just the elements but his own gnawing doubts. What if he failed to find the seeds? What if the rover broke down before he could return? Beneath the stars shining down on ancestors past and family present, Jake wondered if he would live to see home again, pushing aside his worries for the night. He drifted to sleep, dreaming of green fields waving beneath red skies, and of completing the mission to secure his people's future on Mars. As the sun crested the eastern cliffs, Jake roused from an uneasy sleep. He rubbed the grit from his eyes and checked navigator charts by the rover's pre-dawn glow. Something glinting in the sands ahead caught his attention, at first dismissed as a trick of the dim light. He steered closer for inspection. Halting the rover, Jake disembarked and began sifting through the dune, muscles tense with anticipation. Beneath the granular veil emerged scraps of metal, bleached bone fragments and molded rubber, relics of some long dismantled machine. A swirl of memories and raw emotion engulfed him as he unearthed an ancient wheel rim, paint, peeled yet emblem still faintly discernible. This had once been his grandfather's rover, lost to a storm three decades past. For a fleeting moment, 
Jake was transported back in time. A small boy sat anxiously awaiting the old man's return, hoping against hope he'd emerge safely from the dust-choked horizon. But there had been only silence over the calms, that fatful soul. Until now, the rover and its driver had lingered as ghosts in his mind, holding the relics of his family's history. Jakey was overwhelmed by a tumult of hope, grief and uncertainty for the challenges that lay ahead. Jake took a moment to reflect on all the hardships his family had endured to establish their foothold on Mars. Generation after generation had battled the harsh elements and unforgiving terrain, sacrificing comforts and often risking their lives. They had prevailed through perseverance, community, and relentless optimism, qualities he would need to embrace on his own arduous journey. Thinking of his grandfather lost to these same sands so long ago, Jake was filled with determination. Their ancestors' sacrifices would not be in vain. He would not fail the colonists, who now depended on his mission's success. Carefully storing the relics that bridged past and present, Jake returned to the rover with renewed vigor. The trail of past hardship had now strengthened his will to overcome any obstacles ahead. As the engines roared to life, Jake was bolstered by the knowledge that generations of resilience and brave pioneers traveled beside him, their spirits motivating him onwards across the hostile Martian wilderness. The challenges had been faced before, and by their legacy, he would find a way to endure. As dusk fell, Jake parked among the jagged ruins of what appeared to have once been an ancient rover depot. While setting up a basic camp, shadows dancing at the edge of his lawn sense had him jumping at imagined movements. When darkness closed in, nightmares crept in with it, ghosts of the past materializing in his dreams. He relived watching in horror as the Hab Dome fractured during a storm, colleagues screaming his name as they were flung into the void. Bodies lost to the ferocity of Mars, their ghosts now joining the many legions who had perished on these sands. In his dreams they clamored for help, forever maimed and dying amid the dome's ruins. Jake awoke in a cold sweat, the memories and guilt as fresh as the day it happened. Breathing deeply to calm his rattled nerves, he reminded himself that he could still honor their memory by saving others from sharing their fate. Though darkness cloaked the remains of untold numbers fallen before, their spirits steeled his resolve. As long as Mars continued snuffing out human lives, he would fight with every fiber to survive her and complete his mission. The ghosts that haunted his dreams would spur him ever onward until home was finally in sight once more. Jake arose with the rising suns, greeted by their warm orange glow peeking over the crumbling ruins. He scrubbed the remnants of nightmares from his mind, focusing his energy on the challenges of the new day. After a nourishing meal and equipment check, Jake packed the rover for the next leg of the journey, but ominous storm clouds were brewing atop the rust-hued cliffs. Jake knew from generations of experience how quickly weather could turn on Mars. What had begun as isolated thunderheads were merging into an ominous bank of seething ash that threatened to engulf the sky. If it continued strengthening, it risked becoming engulfed in its murky depths. Checking maps and navigational logs, he estimated two souls traveled to the outpost site if conditions held. But the frigid winds already picking up spoke of hazards growing. Darkness was closing in from all sides, the remnants of past losses now another border shrinking his world. Jake steeled his nerves, knowing that if the tempest struck in full, it could wipe out any trace of his passage and leave him utterly lost in the savage landscape. The next moves would determine if he escaped such a fate, or ended instead as just another soul claimed by the dying planet's wrath. Jake gunned the rover's engine and raced across the rust-colored plains, 
keeping a wary eye on the roiling clouds massing above. What had begun as wisps of grey now engulfed half the sky, the ochre world rapidly darkening beneath their encroaching shadow. He tried boosting signal reception to get an updated weather report, but only managed to raise static through the interference. It seemed he was on his own, left to interpret the ominous signs and hope his hunch proved true. If the storm accelerated its pace, would he reach shelter in time, or be overtaken and lost to the howling winds erasing all traces of his passage? As the twin suns sank behind the tempest's veil, an inky gloom descended with the coming of night. Slowing to activate running lights, Jake peered through the dust-flecked windows into the deepening murk. Only the faintest glimmers from the rover's beams penetrated the opaque curtains of ash, shrouding his path. Visibility had reduced to mere meters as darkness and tempest closed in from every side. Alone with his thoughts in the narrow cocoon, Jake could only monitor the volatile atmosphere and pray it would not seal his final resting place before the mission's end. A grim outlook had set in for the looming hours of night ahead. The churning ash swirling in the beam of Jake's rover headlights seemed a portent of worse to come. Checking gauges, he saw oxygen and fuel levels safe for now, but swiftly depleting. Every kilometer gained was vital, yet visibility had shriveled to mere meters. Grinding on through the opaque gloom, Jake flinched at spectral shapes looming and vanishing in the dust. Was this fatigue playing tricks, or had the encroaching storm stirred past ghosts amongst the dunes once more? Shaking off such fancies, he double-checked navigational logs against flickering schematics. One wrong turn could spell doom in these forsaken wastes. A dim glow up ahead raised hope, then horror as it solidified into a looming sandfall. Jake shoved gears hard into reverse, but momentum fought him, sand cascading all around. As the rover slid inevitable towards burial, his thoughts flew to the colonists, awaiting his return. Had their last hope crashed here with him under the storm shroud? Gritting his teeth, Jake wrestled with the wheel in a desperate bid to escape the engulfing tomb and complete his sacred duty to the Mars pioneers.